Oh, no, he's in the shower now. Well, sometimes it's hard to feel clean after something like that happens. It's very embarrassing. Okay, kids, your father's very tender right now, all right? Whatever you do, do not mention what happened today at Tina's class. Just act normal. So you pooped your pants. Linda, let's not talk about it. It wasn't a fair fight. He's younger and he's cute and strong. Linda, this isn't helpful. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Linda, stop. Are you on the phone with Ginger? No. I gotta go. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bobby, I'm not laughing at you. I was thinking about Ginger's dead cat again. Dad, dad, dad. Yes, dad, Louise, hi. yes. Uh, did hi. you know that it only takes two pounds of pressure to drive someone's nose bone into their brain? That's, what? Two pounds, that's it, dad. Why are you telling me this, Louise? Revenge. Revengerine, revengerine, revengerine. Cut it out, Gene. All right, listen, everybody, what happened today is in the past, and we're never going to talk about it again, ever. I'm just glad Tina is quitting the class. Right, Tina? But my body needs it. Your body needs to work in the restaurant with your father. Uh -huh. Oh, fine. If you need me, I'll be down here on the floor, dying. All right, sounds good, honey. Uh, you know, you have to learn to groan right. Tina. Uh, hey, she groans fine. It sounds weird. So you groan then if you're so good at it. Uh, That's a groan. Yeah. Uh, I'll do it. Let me do it. Tina, enough already. Come on. Tina, it's your boyfriend. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. What do you want? I got a message that Tina was very upset and needed to be encouraged to come back to the art of capoeira. A message from who? You're welcome. And you're welcome. Well, I'm sorry. Tina's busy. She's working the grill. It's okay. I'll wait. 